partnership or not, Texas Department of Public Safety patrols are here to stay in Austin. The agency says it's trying to engage more with the community. When dozens of troopers first started patrolling Austin streets, many criticized the move, saying the patrols unfairly targeted communities of color. KXN's Brianna Hollis takes a look at meetings DPS is having with community leaders to try and improve the relationship. It's calm and quiet as Reverend Daryl Horton lets us watch one of his musicians gear up for rehearsal. A contrast to how he says many in his congregation feel as they step outside the doors of Mount Zion Baptist Church in East Austin. There's a perception uh, which is real for many people about the fear of having DPS here. That's one of the reasons he participates in regular community meetings with law enforcement, a meeting DPS now plays a larger role in as the agency continues to play a larger role in the city. But then to also give us an opportunity to share the history of why we perceive it the way it is. But I love the fact that we're coming together to try to find solutions together. And so us trying to build that trust with the community, establish legitimacy, I think that's important for DPS to do. Even with the back and forth over a quote official partnership between DPS and the city, troopers are here to stay, just with less input from Austin police. Would you rather have had it like it was during the partnership when you had more insight into where they were deployed? I think it would be helpful as a department for us to have that information and to understand uh, where they are so that uh, you know we can make adjustments as necessary. I think it's important for me as the chief to continue to have that dialogue with DPS uh, as well as our community stakeholders. Discussions uh, evolved around the history of policing in Austin, um, the lack of trust with police, systemic racism, so a lot of topics that we discussed, and it was very valuable uh, for us to, to listen. I think the only thing we would want to know now is to make sure that our words are being heard. And, and the only way we'll know that is by what we see. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And members from DPS also attended the Austin Safety Summit over the weekend to meet with local community members. Chief Chacon says troopers' presence in Austin has led to a reduction in violent crime. Now for some context, here's a look at the brief partnership timeline. You may remember that back at the end of March, the Austin Violent Crimes Task Force began calling in DPS to assist APD with staffing shortages. And then in May, DPS temporarily ended the partnership after being called to border cities in the wake of the expiration of Title 42. Then just last month, after the partnership restarted, Interim City Manager Jesus Garza suspended the city's partnership with DPS with the approval of Mayor Kirk Watson. This after a DPS traffic stop involving a man and his son. Now, the next day, Governor Abbott ordered DPS to continue their operations in Austin. He also directed an additional 30 troopers to patrol.